Okay. It's about 6.20. And uh, I am, by the way. I'm going to meet a guy that uh, did the park test on the property. We'll call him Bob because that's his name. And uh, Bob worked 30 years for the health department. And for the last eight, he's been doing park tests. And I'm gonna talk to Bob about getting up so early in the morning since he's retired. Uh, he had to come back because uh, after he did the park test, the, the property was so grown up. As you've seen in the last video, we were bush hogging it. He couldn't lay out the design for the uh, sewer system. So he's gonna come back today, this morning. And I talked to him uh, yesterday and he said, how about seven? Uh, nice guy, really, really nice guy. So uh, everything's coming along really super fast. Uh, we got it all closed yesterday. Everything was done with the uh, abstract company and uh, I've, I've gotten just about everything done that's gotta be done. So talked to the people yesterday about uh, building the house. I've gotta go meet with them, I think, uh, in a couple of days, uh, Friday. Yeah, days, days Thursday, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I gotta meet with them tomorrow. We're doing a metal uh, home. You may have seen them. They're, they're really popular right now. Main reason I wanted to do this video today is th this is really super important. And, and I did not realize that most people do not understand what a perk test is. Okay, what a perk is, is a percolation. Like, you know, when you, you dig a hole and you fill it full of water, and you time how, how long it takes for that water to run out of that hole and soak it in the ground. And that's that's the way they used to do it, but now it's, like I say, it's more complicated. They dig a, a six foot hole with or eight foot hole with a backhoe and they do soil samples and everything else to make sure that when you uh, dig these fill lines that come from your septic system that this water will actually soak back into the ground. Even the realtor and I talked about this because, uh, of course, when I found the property, I, I first thing I said was, "Is uh, how's the perk?" And he's like, uh, "We don't know." And I'm like, "Well, you're trying to sell a piece of property to me, and you don't know whether or not it, it even perks." Because I'm telling you something, folks: if it don't perk, you can't build anything on it. I mean, who would want to buy a piece of property that uh, you can't build anything on? Uh, and, and that happens quite often. So I told him, I said, look, uh, it needs to be perked. Well, the seller said he's not gonna pay for the perk. And the perk was 500, you know, $500. So I told him, I told the realtor, I said, look, you get it perked and, uh, and the seller pays for the perk. If it perks, if it passes, I will give the seller his money back. I'll pay for it. If it don't, then I'm walking away, what? which I thought was, you know, I thought was more than fair, you know, that that uh, at least the, the guy won't be out any money, and, uh, and the seller still said no. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess that's it, you know, that's that's all we're we're done. Uh, of course, the realtor uh, spent the day talking to the seller, trying to tell him and explain to him because this is what's bad. The seller had no idea what a part even was. All he knew was he kept hearing, you know, $500. You know. And so, and I told the realtor, I said, look, I said, I know he's worried about losing $500. I said, but I'm worried about losing, you know, $15,000 <laughs> and, and not having a place to build a house and have a piece of property that's not worth nothing. All right, guys. Well, I'll be there in a few minutes and uh, maybe I'll give you a few shots of Bob laying this out. All right, now, guys, Bob is uh, measuring off from the corner of my house down to my pond because we cannot have a sewer system within 50 feet of a pond, and that's what he's doing now. And I and I got on to Bob for being out here so early. Y'all missed that part. It is starting to rain. So I've got to get an umbrella and uh, hopefully I won't get myself too wet out here. Well, this highway's dangerous. Man, I mean, this, these hills, golly molly. Okay, well, 
Got a little wet, not too bad. We got it done. Now they uh, will uh, send the plans to the health department. They uh, give me the number for the gentleman at the health department and to tell him not to mail the permit to me but to let me come and pick it up because they said that sometimes it takes him a month to mail it to you and I can't wait a month to just get it mailed to me.